says, oh, thank you, Carla, thank you. I didn't have a lot to spend on a wagon, and the imports were way too steep compared to their overall value. I almost gave up until I happened into my local Ford dealer. Their Ford Aerostar has a lower base price and even Dodge Caravan. More cargo space, more front legroom, even a bigger engine, a three liter fuel injected V6. And Ford's had the best built American cars and trucks for the last six years. That Ford dealer sure gave me one heck of a good value. That's why they're the quality people. Quality products like Aerostar. Let's go shopping now. At Dominic's, drink in the savings on Pepsi, Mountain Dew, Slice, Bubble Up, and more. Get a two-liter bottle for just 99 cents. Frankly, the savings are terrific on kosher dinner franks and Polish sausage from Sinai. A package is just $5.49 at Dominic's. And get a slice of old-fashioned savings on old-fashioned country-style sliced bacon. In the deli, just $1.19 a pound during... The Mr. Dominic Savings Safari. When it crunches, that's why I love Black Nestle water. Crunch. Milk chocolate, mm, so creamy, blending crispies, ooh, ooh, so dreamy. Gotta have it, it's so scrunchious. Love that chocolate when it crunches. Crunches! Black chocolate is scrunchious when it crunches. That's why I love Nestle Crunch. Wyman has what you want. Low 2.9% financing and low prices. Look at this 1984 Ford LTD with air. Only 2.9% financing. Look at this 5988 1984 Chevy Caprice Classic with air. Only 2.9% financing. And look at this 5988 1983 Olds Cutlass Supreme Coupe with air. Only 2.9% financing at Burt Wyman Ford at 3535 North Ashland. Hawaii's hottest P.I. heads your way every weeknight at 10.30. I'll get right on it. Starring Tom Selleck. I got the warrant. Tom Selleck takes you to paradise tonight and every weeknight at 10.30 on Channel 9. Hi there. Hey, this is a cute little story about growing up, you know, becoming a man and dealing with a stepfather who thinks, uh, well, he thinks you're kind of a wimp, you know what I mean? Now, don't get me wrong. I know it's tough to be a good daddy these days, you know, and sometimes a kid deserves a little, shall we say, discipline. But as this story proves, the best way to teach is by example. Physical punishment should be the last resort, you know? Hey, speaking of resort, I know this great little place up in the mountains, you know? It's closed all winter long, but it's really a healthy place to bring up a family. Anyway, getting back to the the business at hand. As I was saying, you know, daddy should be fair to kids because you never know, you know, when you're going to need their help. Hi, I'm Dick Clark. Drug and alcohol abuse is becoming the largest killer in the country, and the problem is getting worse. Now, if you or someone you know has a problem with drugs or alcohol, Parents Against Alcohol and Drugs want you to know help is available. Habilitat has a 24-hour toll-free hotline for crisis intervention, information, and referral. It's 1-800-USA-2525. They can tell you firsthand how they kick their habit and how you can kick yours. With all the people in Illinois, you can bet that this year, somebody will catch cold in Chicago. There will be babies born in Rockford. Some people will have physical exams in Bloomington, and cataract surgery in Danville. And they can all be cared for by a local doctor who's part of HMO Illinois, the Blue Cross HMO. 
the one that takes better care of more people in more places than any other. Do you have Blue Cross? I remember my father's favorite chair. He'd come home, stretch out, and nap through all his favorite TV shows. That chair was home to him. When you take a seat on a Delta jet, I want you to feel like you're coming home. Sounds corny, I know, but I love what I do. And I don't get paid extra to smile. It just feels comfortable to me. Kind of like my father's chair. Delta, get you there. We get you there with care. Keep on dancing. Get tough and looking bad, just hold your head up high. And nothing is worth doing unless you do it right. You can't buy Walt Disney's new record, but you can get it free with the purchase of a three, five, or nine piece dinner. When I bite into a York peppermint patty, I get the sensation of being on top of a cold mountain. And all I want to do is yodel. yodel <laughs> Get the sensation of deep chocolate covering cool, cool peppermint. Mmm. When I bite into a York peppermint patties, I'm getting the sensation of a little bit shivers tippy-toeing up and down my spine. Mm. York peppermint patty. Get the sensation. The cleanser Dave uses to clean his grimy gas station sink is the same cleanser Mary relies on to gently clean her fine porcelain wash basin. The cleanser Rich uses to clean his baked-on, burnt-on grill is the same one Mrs. Ross relies on to clean her shiny stovetop. Now, what cleanser cleans that powerfully, but without harsh scratching? Soft scrub liquid cleanser with its unique mild abrasive formula. From Clorox, of course. Last month, during the finance wars, your Renault Jeep dealers challenged the competition and won with 0% factory financing. Now the competition has given up. No more low financing. But you can still get 0% factory financing on all remaining new 1986 Alliances and Encores and on all remaining new 1986 Jeep Comanches, Cherokees, Wagoneers, and Eagle Wagons. 0% factory financing ends very soon. So hurry into your Chicagoland, Northern Indiana Renault Jeep dealers. What happened to that girl, anyway? A maniac is killing his way across Australia, and Jamie Lee Curtis could be his next victim. Butchering young girls is one thing. When you hurt my animal, you made a big mistake. Stacy Keach is a one-man vigilante force on the trail of a madman. Come on, baby, we're getting it on. Embassy Night at the Movies presents the broadcast television premiere of Road Games. Saturday night at 7, Channel 9. Listen, man, you don't really believe that that kid's dad died of a heart attack, do you? I'll tell you, it was more like heartburn. No, this is true. Pritzi's honor. As a matter of fact, he was cut up into five easy pieces because he was mean, rotten, nasty, lazy, and belligerent. And those are terms of endearment. A shining example of what not to do when raising a kid. Hey, listen, stick around because, you know, we still got an awful lot more of Tales from the Dark Side. Comfy shoes and funky blues and Mars roasted almonds. These are some of the best things in life. Reading Sunday funnies on your tummies and Mars buttery caramel. Store hopping, good time shopping, and Mars Rich Chocolate. These are some of the best things in life. It's the little rewards that make life great. Mars Bar, one great little reward. Some of the best things in life. When you're suffering from a disease, you seek professional medical care. 
But unfortunately, there's one disease that 14 million Americans insist on treating themselves. The disease is alcoholism. And treating it yourself makes as much sense as operating on yourself. Call Care Unit. Nobody cares the way we do. Well, what do you know? Brand new Pontiac Grand Am. Got the injected 3-liter V6. The aero skirts, composite headlamps, the sports suspension, the special buckets, the big analog gauges, the whole enchilada. Yeah, you big ham. You own one hot car. We build excitement, Pontiac. Hello. Welcome back to the last of this evening's adventures of horror. This one brings back so many memories for me, and quite a few of my old friends, too. It takes place on my favorite day, Halloween. Oh, I just love Halloween. It's the only time of the year when Cindy Lopper looks good. It's a time when ghouls, goblins, spirits, monsters come out. But let's not talk about my relatives. Let's talk about our story. A story of children in costumes. Little devils free to beg treats or pull tricks for one glorious night. But we all know there really are no creatures of the night. Don't we? You're a rich man, Gideon Hackle. <laughs> oh, I like the sound of that, Mr. Bundle. Halloween, have you forgotten? My favorite season. <laughs> Who leaves the shine so shiny? Whoa, slow down there. You have to ask. Oh, is it wet? It's dry. The shine so shiny. Wet? Nope. Without streaking, without rinsing. You're so convincing. Is it wet? Is it dry? You know the answer, you know the kind! Aww. Yeah, it's Mr. Clean. Mr. Clean is the man behind the shine. Is it wet or is it dry? Is it wet? Is it dry? Is it wet or is it dry? You know how terrific that turkey sandwich tastes after Thanksgiving? Well, now you can enjoy a turkey sandwich that good any day of the year with Lewis Rich Sliced Turkey. It's cooked and sliced for you. Delicious, up to 95% fat-free. It's naturally lean. So, for the ultimate turkey sandwich, you don't have to wait till after Thanksgiving. But you do have to wait till after math. It took Louis Rich to make turkey so right. Dynamite! Zenith's clean, cube-shaped styling gives you so much screen from side to side and corner to corner, it makes watching television a whole new ball game. Zenith. Quality. If you've ever tried recording the late movie and ended up with the morning farm report, you'll love Zenith's VCR on-screen programming. It lets you correct your mistakes instead of watching them. Zenith. Quality. When an urgent package leaves your hands, make sure the hands you leave it in can deliver. Express Mail Overnight Service from your post office delivers over city, over state, overnight, over whatever stands in the way, over 97% of the time, and climbing for about half what most others charge, two pounds just 10.75. Express Mail Overnight Service. When we say overnight, we mean overnight. The whole thing? Uh-huh. Mmm, that's a big crunch for such a little thing. Well, that little thing's packed with goodness. I can believe it with a crunch like that. It's got a nice nutty taste. And it has no added sugar or preservatives. There's no room. Huh. What are these little things? Grape nut cereal. Grape nuts? I could go for a whole bowl full. You got it. Have a bowl of crunchy, nutty, packed with goodness grape nuts today. 
the jumpers, the drives, the dunks, the paw. Catch all the Blue Demon home action at the horizon. Notre Dame, Georgia Tech, North Carolina State, Marquette, and more. For season tickets, call 341-8010. Discover Visa and MasterCard accepted. I am Temptations. Exactly what you crave. I am the cookie warm in the toaster. I know how to tempt you. I'm crisp and chewy with a luscious aroma and a taste that's warm and delicious. In chocolate chip, granola raisin, and fudge chocolate chip, no one can resist Temptation's warm and luscious cookies. New from the Bakers of Thomas's English Muffins. Are you angry with me, sir? No. I'm proud of you. Until next time, try to enjoy the daylight. A delightful man. Wasn't he? Rotten, cruel, sadistic, my kind of guy. You know, I'm told that a rattlesnake once bit him, and it was just terrible watching that poor animal curl up and die like that. Yes, a forgotten old man with no good in his heart. His only protection from the dark side is his belief in the light. And when that belief is extinguished, tales from the dark side will return. Quiet nights by firelight and Mars roasting almonds. These are some of the best things in life. Barefooting in ponds, splashing with swans and Mars buttery caramel. Losing your knots in all the right spots and Mars rich chocolate. These are some of the best things in life. It's the little rewards that make life great. Mars bar, one great little reward. Some of the best things in life. Do you keep your cat's litter box smelling fresh? Yeah, uh, no. Well, let your cat help. How? With Fresh Step Cat Litter. It releases tiny odor controllers every time he scratches or steps. Now does he keep his litter box smelling fresh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Fresh Step. Freshens with every step. We're giving Flo Babbitt just 10 seconds to prove that Formula 409 is so fast and effective, it starts to work before you start to wipe. Ready, Flo? Flo? And another bathroom? And this can be Mother's room when she visits? Mother. And another linen? For me? Look, honey, a gold watch. Oh, it's very nice. Lonnie McClure. Nancy McConnell. Patrick McEwen. Hi Jerry. Hi, Jerry. How's the house? Got a picture right here. Uh -huh. There's the lawn. Uh -huh. This is Tina's mother. This yeah. is the garage. Yeah, yeah, there's the dog. Well, what do you know? Full-size luxury cars are back, and I don't have to feel guilty anymore about driving one. There aren't many left to choose from, but there's really only one choice anyway. Ford LTD Crown Victoria. My Ford dealer had low financing, a three-year unlimited mileage warranty, and saved me over $800 in options. Talk about full-size value. Crown Victoria, distinctive, elegant, and probably the world's best big car buy. They're called the quality people, and this quality product is one reason why. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed yourself as my friends guided you through the four tales from the dark side. And I hope tonight when you snuggle down in your warm, familiar bed and turn out the lights that you'll keep in mind, and this is from a guy who really knows Things aren't always what they appear to be. Try to enjoy the daylight. Two teenagers are shot. Another is beaten outside a Southside Chicago high school. Police say the attacks occurred just a few minutes apart and did appear to be gang-related. Mayor Washington wins a substantial victory in the Illinois Supreme Court. 
Also tonight, gubernatorial candidate Adlai Stevenson says a unified Democratic Party will give him a narrow victory. Governor Thompson says if Stevenson wins, Illinois will become, quote, an aimless drifting state. We'll have these stories and more coming up next on the 9 o'clock news. Ladies and gentlemen, not everyone got a vacation this summer. Great Gregory! I need a vacation like nobody's business. Oh. I need a vacation. This fall, you can still get great low fares to more places on the biggest bargain airline, United. I got a vacation. Give me another shot at it. And I'm not just flying, I'm flying the brand new sky. Nice soft landing. When I repudiated the LaRouches, cynics said my campaign was over. But I'm here. I kept fighting because there are things I want to do as governor. Things my opponent hasn't done in 10 years. I'll name a Commerce Commission to stop unfair utility rate increases. I'll tell you the truth so you aren't hit with sneaky post-election tax increases. And holding down taxes and utility rates are the first steps towards reviving Illinois' economy and creating the jobs we need. I'll be a governor you can trust for a change. After more than 40 years in power, the Cook County Democratic machine is falling apart. And while party bosses squabble, taxes escalate, jobs disappear, corruption flourishes. Perhaps after all these years, the machine can't be fixed. Perhaps it simply needs to be replaced. Unplug the machine. Vote Republican. Senator Paul Simon. I've been through some tough campaigns. Sometimes it's hard to sort out the charges and counter charges. So I want to urge you to reelect Dick Elrod Sheriff of Cook County. Dick Elrod's work with youth and his programs, they've won him commendations from the National Crime Prevention Council, the U.S. Justice Department, even the President of the United States. Dick Elrod's a genuinely good man and a tough job. He's earned your support. On Tuesday, reelect Sheriff Richard J. Elrod. There's something wrong with those dolls. Tales from the Dark Side. Sunday night at 10 on Channel 9. This is the 9 o'clock news with Rick Rosenthal, Pat Harvey, Tom Skilling, and Bob Hillman. Chicago's very own 9 o'clock news team. Good evening. Two teenagers are shot. A third is beaten outside a Chicago high school today. Police say the attacks are gang-related, and our Steve Sanders reports they occur just a few minutes apart. The shooting took place during a scuffle here outside Chicago Vocational School on the southeast side around 3 o'clock this afternoon. Upon arrival at the scene, uh, they found two men laying in the grass. Uh, we made an arrest by the, one of the attack teams out of the 4th District. Uh, we also uh, have an admission from the guy who was arrested, plus we also have an eyewitness to the shooting. Everybody stopped running towards the boy who had the gun, but they didn't know he had a gun. So they ran over there, they stopped the beating him up and everything. I don't know who the person who was beating him up, but when they was beating him up, he reached in his bag and got a gun. He stopped to shoot, and everybody just hit the ground. We all hit the dirt. One of the teenagers, 15-year-old Norvale Nolan, is hospitalized in critical condition with a gunshot wound to the abdomen. And a second victim, 16-year-old Dwayne Holmes, is in fair condition with a gunshot wound to the leg. A few minutes later, and a half a block away, a third teenager, Dion Tate, was beaten in this parking lot. Well, that seemed to happen maybe about 15 or 20 minutes later, after the first call came in. It happened right up here on the corner around 87th and Jeffrey, where one of the kids uh, was hitting the bat, hitting the head with a baseball bat. Although police insist the two incidents are unrelated, students who witness both are telling a different story, calling the beating a case of retribution for the shooting. On Chicago's southeast side, Steve Sanders, WGN News. Well, no charges have yet been filed, and police have not revealed the suspect's name. Right? The Chicago Board of Elections Commissioner's Pat is projecting Tuesday's election will see the lowest voter turnout in the city since 1974. That could be bad news for Adlai Stevenson, who needs Chicago's Democratic strength to turn the tide against Governor Thompson. In that same matchup of theirs four years ago, Stevenson came close to defeating Thompson, largely because of his very strong showing here in Chicago. Well, both candidates were up at dawn again this morning for yet another arduous day on the campaign trail. Such a 
Absolutely. One of the first stops on Stevenson's itinerary was a hazardous waste dump in far northwest suburban Wakanda. Here, he charged unrestricted dumping from 1950 to 1977 had contaminated groundwater and harmed nearby residents. That there has been no cleanup, he blamed on the Thompson administration.